Good morning and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Friday the 5th of February 2021 and the time has just gone 9.22 GMT. And this week's Chart of the Week is the Australian dollar versus the US dollar or as some call it the Aussie dollar. Uh, the Aussie dollar has been in a strong upper trend uh, the last number of months. Uh, in fact, at the beginning of the year, it hit its highest level uh, in about two and a half years. It was well over a two-year high that was achieved. And since then, we've seen a bit of a pullback, which isn't really a surprise. If you rack up uh, a multi-year high, you're gonna, you're, you're, it's not really a shock to see a bit of a move to the downside. And what we can see here is we've had the lower low, the lower high, and the lower low. We're currently just kind of hovering above that blue line there, the 50-day moving average, which comes into play in a zero spot, 7608. We're holding above that metric. If you take a look at the MACD indicator, the MACD histogram, we can see that as the market was moving lower, there was a steady increase in positive momentum. But we have been seeing a decline in the in negative momentum, and that's and that's been um, and that's coupled with a sideways move in the in the um in the currency pair so it seems that the bears are kind of running out of steam and this video what we will, i will talk about are we going to see uh, a continuation in the recent negative move and there's going to be a wider correction in the currency pair or is this going to be a drift drift back lower before a resumption of the wider upward trend that's been in play so if you do look to uh, to move on lower from here we could be looking heading back down toward this yellow line here water under the moving average that comes into play in at zero spot 73.94 um, and if you have a pretty size of break below that that could take us back down toward the, this red line here the 200 day moving average a metric we haven't tested for a long time on the, this particular currency pair but if you are going to be trading um, the Australian dollar versus the US dollar it is worth noting what has gone on in other in the actual US dollar itself because some of the a lot of the gains that have been racked off particularly in late late 29 late 2020 have been as a result of the weakness in the US dollar so if you take a look at the what the US dollar is doing here at CMC markets we offer forex indices under products you can click on forex indices we can click on this one here the, the CMC GBP so CMC USD index we can see that we've had a recent um, turnaround uh, in the in the US dollar there's a negative trend um, all the way into the very beginning of this year when it fell to its, its low to multi-year lows we've been recovering ever since so we're at, in my opinion we're at an interesting point um, well in the dollar but also in the Australian dollar in that if we're going to see a wider correction in the US dollar that's likely to put more pressure on the Australian dollar versus the US dollar but it could be just just a case that the, the US dollar is having a rebound um, recouping some of the losses but only to turn lower on itself yet again and retest the recent lows so if we do have a break below the, the, the January low in the US dollar and in, in the CMC US dollar index or if we take out the December high these could be significant turning points for the Australian dollar so turning our attention back to the Aussie dollar chart we can see here that it's the markets come off quite a, quite a, the, the decline in the Australian dollar versus the US dollar hasn't actually been that much, uh, especially when you compare it to, to how, how much the Euro has suffered. So it's, which is a sign of say relative strength of the Australian dollar versus versus that, that of the Euro. Um, it is worth noting that there's a there's a quite a size of the move between late November uh, and into uh, sorry early November and early January. So what we could do is take a look at the kind of potential Fibonacci retracement levels. That can be found on our platform here under the draw tools under the draw tool Fibonacci here and if you draw it here oh my apologies I'll be careful this one if you draw it here at the base of the rally here just below zero in around zero spot 70 we'll bring it up here to the highs of 2021 we can see here we can see here that there's been a significant move um, between the lows of, um, of early November and the highs of early January so if we keep an eye out for potential areas of resistance uh, for those of you who talk, who, um, who don't know who don't really follow the Fibonacci um, retracement um, indicator what essentially it does is it talks about how after you have a significant move it's not uncommon to see a, a retracement or a correction in the opposite direction so we take a look at the very very significant levels 
take a look at this single move, move here. If we do see a retracement of 23.6%, which we have seen here at this line here, we're pretty much on that metric right now at zero spot, 7611. If we, if we see further declines, we could head back back towards the zero the 38.2 uh, retracement in uh, the zero spot 74.92. A move below, uh, further move below that could take us back down towards the 50% retracement in a zero spot 73.96. Now, for me, this is, is a potential area uh, of, of big of big support because we did see some uh, some um, support in that area in early December. The 50% 50, 50 retracement also coincides, roughly speaking, with this yellow line here, the 100-day moving average. So when, it, when, when um, potential levels of, of potential importance overlap, the 50-day retracement or the 50-day moving average of the Fibonacci retracement and the 100-day moving average, that makes it more likely that will be of significance. So if we do see a move to the downside in the Aussie dollar, the US dollar, which could be brought about by a break higher in the CMC uh, USD index, keep an eye out for these levels to the downside. Now, taking a look at the upside, if we do manage to um, to move higher from here, we could be looking at retesting up towards 0 spot 78. And if we go beyond that, we could then be looking at heading up towards 0 spot 80, which would be the next big move to the upside on the Australian dollar versus the US dollar. Now, if you are going to be trading, um, the Aussie dollar, US dollar today. Uh, keep an eye out, keep be mindful of that today is non farm payrolls. So that's going to be uh, uh, probably likely to inject a lot of volatility in the markets. That announcement is coming out at 1330 GMT. Under under this tab here on the market calendar, we can find out what the uh, the results that we posted here uh, on the announcement. We can see here in relation to the, um, the non farm payrolls. What we're expecting is an increase uh, of 50,000 jobs, which would be a sharp rebound from the, from the 140,000 jobs that were lost in December. Uh, we're also expecting the unemployment rate to hold steady at 6.7%. Uh, so, so keep in mind about the jobs data that's coming out at 13.30 GMT today. Likes to inject a lot of volatility. Uh, that's all from this video. Thank you for listening. Have a good trading day and have a nice weekend.